Hey guys, today we will discuss about an important property of limit of sequence. Limit n tends to infinity 1 by n is equal to 1 if a greater than 0. So let's start. We have to show that limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 if a greater than 0. Now we shall consider three cases. First case. Let a is equal to 1. If a is equal to 1, then we get limit n tends to infinity 1 to the power 1 by n is equal to 1. Then the sequence converges to 1. Now case 2. Here the condition is a greater than 0. And then this value of this limit will be 1. So first we have assumed that a is equal to 1. Now let a greater than 1. So if a greater than 1 then a to the power 1 by n obviously greater than 1. Okay. Therefore, a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 plus xn, where xn greater than 0 for n greater than 1. Okay. Here, a greater than 1, then a to the power 1 by n greater than 1. So, if a to the power 1 by n greater than 1, then we have to equal these two terms, then just we have Assume that a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 plus xn. Where obviously this xn will be greater than 0 for all n greater than 1. Okay. Now, we have to prove if this sequence have any limit or not. So, First, let epsilon greater than 0 be given, then then this mod of xn, that means a to the power 1 by n minus 1, less than epsilon, if mod of xn less than epsilon now from here if we name it as equation one then we can say that from equation one a to the power one by n is equal to one plus x n and then a is equal to 1 plus x in whole to the power n. And expanding we get 1 plus n x in for n greater than 1. Therefore, this equation 2 gives us a to the power 1 by n minus 1 less than epsilon if mod of xn less than epsilon. That is if a minus 1 by n less than epsilon. That is if n greater than a minus 1 by epsilon. Now we have to choose positive real number k so let us choose 
k is equal to a minus 1 by epsilon plus 1. Okay. Therefore, we see that a to the power 1 by n minus 1 less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to k. So, this shows that limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1. Using the definition of limit of sequence. Okay. Let's see this again one. Now let's move to the third case. Now we have considered first a is equal to 1 and then a greater than 1. Now only one case is left when a between 0 and 1. Okay. Let b is equal to 1 by a. Then b greater than 1 and limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n gives us limit n tends to infinity 1 by b to the power 1 by n is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by b to the power 1 by n and this gives us 1. How? If you use the property of limit of sequence then we get this step. And then we get this value is 1 and this value is from from here we can say 1 and then we get this one. So also in this case we get limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 if a greater than 0. Let's discuss this question one more time. First case 1. Here we take the value of a is equal to 1. Then the sequence converts this to 1. Now we take the value a greater than 1. Then we get a to the power 1 by n greater than 1. Then for equality we just take a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 plus xn. Where xn greater than 0 and for all n greater than 1. Now we have to check the limiting value. Now we have to check the value of the limit of a to the power 1 by n. Then we just take the help of definition epsilon greater than 0 given and then mod of this value less than epsilon when obviously mod of x and less than 1 epsilon. From equation 1 we get that this value and expanding we get this one and then we just use this equation to and choosing the positive real number k we get that
a to the power 1 by n less than epsilon for all n greater equal to k and by definition we can easily say that limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 and similarly in case 3 when we take the value of a between 0 and 1 we just assume that b is equal to 1 by a and then applying whole the process on b we just get the value is equal to 1 and similarly we can prove that limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 if a greater than 0. Here actually the value of b is taken where 1 by a greater than 0 because when you come here you take that 1 by a greater than 0 okay so that's why we have taken this one So it's all about the theorem limit n tends to infinity a to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 if a greater than 0. This is one type of question on limit of sequence. I think it's clear for you. So today I end this lecture here. If this video is helpful for you then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. So goodbye.